Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Ravi Brother, a technical support engineer from Informatica. In this video, we will discuss on how to create a retirement entity in uh, Informatica Data Archive. Okay, so let's go to today's agenda. In this video, we will see how to launch the Enterprise Data Manager in which uh, you can create the uh, retirement entities and uh, we will see uh, how to create a retirement entity. In this step, we'll say uh, what are the uh, ways to create a retirement entity. Okay, so uh, the first step is uh, launch the ADM. We can either launch the ADM uh, as a standalone ADM or from ILM UI uh, by logging into uh, ILM UI in the uh, from the browser and uh, uh, go to uh, Accelerators tab and click on Enterprise Data Manager. Okay, so we'll launch this uh, ADM from the ILM UI. Let's log into ILM. Login using the um, user credentials. Once you're logged in, go to Accelerator, click on Enterprise Data Manager to launch the ADM. It will download the JNLP file. Just uh, click on the JNLP file to launch the ADM. Yeah, once the ADM is launched, uh, we are done with the first step. So let's go for the second step. Second step is create a retirement entity. We can create a retirement entity in two ways. You can create it as a retirement entity manually by adding the tables manually to the entity or we can create a retirement entity automatically by uh, auto generate retirement entity option. So we'll check the first option uh, creating the manually. Go back to enterprise data manager and expand the application version and right click on the module and select new entity okay here provide uh, any name I'll just give retirement demo as a entity name click on next and click finish so when you click finish the entity will be created uh, along with the uh, one interim table so this is the uh, entity which is created and this is the retirement uh, interim table so right click on the entity to add the tables and select insert table with where 1 equal to 1 for the retirement entities. Okay. So here I include the interim table which is generated and uh, select the tables which you want to add to the retirement entity. So I will just add these two tables in this demo and then click finish. Once you click finish you can see the uh, tables added to the retirement entity okay so click on the entity and uh, click on steps here to see the uh, entity steps here you can observe that for the retirement entity the first three um, steps are disabled okay these are not required for the retirement entity okay so here you can make any of the table as a driving table the, anyway this is just for uh, the namesake whether it will not use it as a driving table okay once it is added, click on save to save the retirement entity. Now we have successfully created a retirement entity. You can select the interim table and uh, go to tables tab and see uh, how the tables are added. Automatically it will generate insert statement and delete statement for them. Insert statement 1 is equal to 1 means it will uh, extract all the data from the table. And delete statement 1 equal to 0 means it will, it will not delete any records from the uh, uh, source table okay so this is how we create a retirement entity manually so in case uh, if you have uh, so many schemas and um, uh, tables we want to uh, create a retirement entity and by you want to create multiple retirement entity which will consume uh, more time and if you want to generate them automatically you can do that by uh, generating the auto retirement entity option so we'll see how uh, we can generate a retirement entity automatically. So to generate a retirement entity automatically, you need to switch to a constraints tab. Go to click on view, click on constraint and expand the application. Okay. And right click on the application version for which you want to uh, generate the retirement entities and select generate retirement entities. Here uh, the dialog box will come and it will ask for these parameters number of tables in each entities I enter the number uh, how many tables you want to include in each entity and you can provide the 
prefix for entity and also the suffix for entity okay it will it will create an entity name uh, with the numbers so if you provide any prefix or suffix it will append them as a suffix and prefix okay so the ent you, you need to make sure that uh, the prefix and suffix and the auto generated number will not exceed more than 45 characters so that is the limit for the entity name okay and this this option group tables beyond schemas is to if you want to include uh, tables from multiple schemas and generate a new retirement entity then you can select this option or uh, if you don't want multiple schemas tables to be included in one entity then you need to disable this so it will create a different uh, t uh, entities for the uh, for, for every uh, schema okay this option will generate a retirement entity for all the schemas and all the tables which you have mined in the EDM for this application. You cannot generate only for one schema tables. Okay. So uh, let's say if I uh, provide five tables for each entity and I uh, give a prefix as in for demo and I don't want uh, multiple schema tables to be included in one uh, entity so I will uh, disable this option and click on OK once you click on OK this uh, will spawn a new job background job to uh, generate an auto retirement entity in the ILM UI here you can see the message enterprise data manager started a ret retirement auto entity creation job the job ID is 121 so we can log into ILM UI to see this job and the progress of the job log into ILM UI and here you can see 121 job which is completed and expand this job and see the number of entities it is created here you can see uh, the entity is created with info underscore demo and the number okay so let's go back to the EDM click on OK and click on view and click refresh to update this uh, EDM and expand switch to data archive tab under data archive tab you can see the new uh, newly created uh, retirement entities expand every uh, schema and you can see the uh, entity created in font code demo in code 01 in this only one table is there because this schema has only one table mined in the EDM and you can see this here here also one entity created with one table and if you expand this here we can see two tables because there are two tables mined uh, for this schema then you switch here and here also one entity is created with one table if you expand this here you can see multiple uh, entities created okay here you can see the number of tables added is five because i gave five as a limit to each entity okay one two three four five tables are added for the retirement entity okay like this it will be created for all, every uh, schema maximum five tables will be present in uh, each entity if there are more tables present for that schema then it will uh, generate multiple uh, retirement entities we have seen both the uh, ways to create a retirement entity one way is to create a retirement entity manually and the other way is to generate automatically okay so this is it from this video we would love to hear from you any feedback will be appreciated uh, you can use uh, either of below links to provide us the feedback okay thanks for watching have a nice day